mankind is part of the world, and we significantly affect each other as much as changes in our environment affect us. For this week's lesson, we will be talking about the human person and the environment. My name is Crystal Reyes. Anthropocentrism focuses on significant role of humankind in the world and considers nature as the means by which humans are able to meet their needs and survive. This view believes that humans are the most important species on the planet and they are free to transform nature and use its resources. Look around you and you can see evidence of humans transforming the environment to suit their needs. Landscapes were reshaped so schools, buildings, and other structures can be built on them. Farmers steal vast tracts of land to grow crops, loggers clear forests for lumber, and mining companies dig up land and even level mountains to access minerals and metals. Biocentrism believes that humans are not the only significant species on the planet and that all organisms have inherent value and should be protected. This view drives the activities of humane organizations that advocate the ethical treatment of animals. Ecocentrism places great value on ecosystems and biological communities. This view believes that humankind is part of a greater biological system or community and that we have a significant role as stewards or guardians of nature. This view also promotes the idea that order and balance in nature brings about stability and beauty. Several philosophical views on the environment such as deep ecology and the Gaia hypothesis emphasize the important role of the interaction between the living and non-living components of the environment. Biologists believe that all biological organisms interact with each other and that each organism occupy a significant niche with an ecosystem. Humans greatly benefit from an orderly environment. However, it cannot be denied that disorder exists in our environment. Natural calamities like typhoon, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and human activities like littering and improper use of natural resources all contribute to disorder in our environment. How can humanity address the damages inflicted in our environment? One important development that arose during the late 20th century was environmentalism. This perspective advocates to address the growing environmental problems. Philosophy has a significant role in the development of environmental awareness and action. Several ideas and perspectives regarding environmental action have emerged. One important philosophical view from environmentalism is environmental ethics. This is a moral approach that analyzes the relationship between humans and the environment. It also discusses environmental problems caused by human activities and social issues that impact the environment. Environmental ethics serves as a basis for reflecting on how our actions show our regard for nature. We often complain about trash scattered around our community. But what steps have we taken to be an example of cleanliness and order in our homes and communities? Environmental ethics also guides us in upholding the welfare of the environment and everything in it. As persons, it is our responsibility to start with our own actions and how they affect our immediate environment. Have you ever taken the initiative to tidy up your room or help clean the house especially in this time of pandemic? Starting in your own home is an important step towards becoming a more responsible steward of nature. Another philosophical view is environmental justice. 
Environmental justice refers to the fair distribution of environmental benefits as well as the burden of meeting environmental challenges. Advocates of environmental justice emphasize equity and the meaningful involvement of communities and governments in addressing environmental challenges and in planning and implementing environmental policies. The last view is environmental aesthetics. This originally focuses on concepts of beauty in nature, but has become increasingly influenced by environmental concerns. It is concerned primarily with natural beauty in the context of maintaining order and balance in the environment. Recognizing the urgent need for humans to address the environmental problems, Philosophers urge action to address these. What can we do to uphold environmentalism and care for nature? One of the major concepts that drive environmentalism is sustainability or sustainable development. This concept focuses on reconciling human activities and economic development with the protection of the environment. Sustainability relies on three important principles, environmental integrity, economic efficiency, and equity. Environmental integrity refers to maintaining the state of the environment. This means that human activities should not unduly disrupt the ecosystems and human communities located in the area. Care should be taken that the surrounding landscape is not drastically impacted by human activities. Economic efficiency refers to prudence in decision-making regarding the use of resources to ensure that there is minimum to zero waste. Finally, equity demands that we use our natural resources in such a manner that these are conserved so that the next generation will be able to use them. The values of prudence and frugality can guide us in our personal use of resources. Prudence is the ability to regulate one's actions and behavior, while frugality is being thrifty with the use of one's resources. As humans, it is our responsibility to treat with respect not only our fellow humans, but everything in this world. Upholding environmentalism and sustainability will enable us to take the first steps in addressing environmental issues and contribute to the greater challenge of climate change. My name is Crystal Reyes. Let us all do our part in upholding environmentalism.